there's my dog in the background. As always, whenever I do uniform videos, my dog is going to be in the background. Anyway, uh, so today, I get a new piece in. This is a Bulgarian summer tunic. Dog is looking at me like I'm a freak. Because, uh, uh, obviously, you guys know I've been working on a Bulgarian uniform. I have uh, a lot of Bulgarian equipment. Yeah, I know. I tried to work on a World War II uniform, and... You know, can't find any of that for cheap. But the Bulgarian stuff is cheap enough that, and I like it. Uh, anyway, so this we'll start off with, which I made a video on before. This is a, a Bulgarian copy. I got a big Cosmorine stain. Bo a Bulgarian copy of um, World War II Soviet sack, but it's a green color compared to uh, their khaki color. On camera, it looks like a beige color, but it's actually more of a lighter shade of this green. Uh, as the jacket, but that's all it is. Is basically your, your usual cinch sack, cinch sack. Um, this right here is an interesting jacket. So you can obviously see it is a copy of the M thirty five Soviet uniform from World War Two or M thirty six. Sorry, uh, or is it M thirty five? I can't remember. You guys, you guys will have to remind me. Um, it's a really nice jacket. I've only had it for a day, literally, and I wore it for a little bit. Uh, you can tell that the Bulgarians, I say it with my trench coat, too, is it's either pressed metal or this is just, you know, like, it's pressed metal on there, on my other one. And then uh, on these, it's just a little metal wire, and it's Bakelite buttons. They're pretty cool buttons, though. They're just, oh, I'm getting in my light. Move the light over a bit so you can see better. So... I really like the uh, buttons with the star, brown buttons. Better design than shiny ass Soviet ones. In fact, I grabbed one for comparison. And I just have some sitting on my shelf right over here. So, up until the M69, which they were using in Afghanistan, they were using shiny ass buttons like this to fight the Afghans. And this is made same time. The Bulgarians knew what was going on. The Soviets, obviously not. Um, it, it's interesting. It takes design pieces from Soviet and German. And where the German part comes in is right on the back, actually. As you see on all World War II and even post uniforms, is there's belt hooks. And I actually tested these with one of my belts. And it actually works really well. These are really good belt loops. And they're metal, unlike the rest of the parts. I think the Bulgarians, I don't know much about their resources, but I think that uh, they probably had a short on metal there or something. I don't know. Because I've seen a lot of their equipment and like their backpacks and stuff uh, are either very simple, like the one I have, dom and domestically made, or uh, give given given by the uh, Soviets. Um, here's the stamp right here. If any of you can read that, translate it to me, because I can't read Bulgarian. Um, I really like the about uh, Bulgarian uniform jackets and stuff. They always have this nice, and looks gray in here, but it's blue to me, uh, blue liners. And these are cheap. This costs like $12 for me. So, I suggest you get one, especially if you want a Bulgarian Cold War uniform. They're cheap and they're still a you know cheaper stock that is very untouched. Keep that secret between me and us, subscribers, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm putting this up on YouTube so you know anyone can see it, but I'm not a big YouTube channel, obviously. Um, but anyway, this is the Bulgarian I don't know when from uniform jacket. Oh yeah, by the way. Uh, I actually got a new AK-47 bayonet. This one's unissued with matching serial numbers. It's a pretty nice one. Obviously, the video is not as good lighting today. That's because I my usually set usual setups behind me, but since I have a jacket today, it's kind of hard to display on that little table. Um, besides that, back to the knife. This is a pretty nice one. I'm not going to use it at all for chopping or anything like my other one because it still has the original. Uh, blade bevel on it as you can see right there still on 
and not a messed up 